Hey, what's up guys, so what you know is best here. The Apple Watch is still one of my favorite smartwatches to use. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my favorite apps that I currently use on this watch. And I'll also leave some links down below to all of these apps in my description below this video. So make sure you do check that out at the end. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video and take a look at my first favorite app. So this first app is one of my favorite games to play, whether I'm playing it on my watch or on my phone. It's called Song Pop 2. And the goal of this game is to guess the name of the song that's playing, or it'll have you guess the name of the artist of the song. And so I'll be playing a little snippet of the song, but because this app cannot use the built-in speaker on the Apple Watch, you have to use uh, Bluetooth headphones or a Bluetooth speaker. But anyway, once you set all that up, you are able to hear the music playing, but I'm not gonna play it because copyright is hell right now on YouTube. Um, but uh, you have to choose the name of the artist or the name the song faster than your competition. Now I found that my response time on the watch is a little bit slower than if I was using this on the phone just because it's a very small screen so you really gotta focus where you're tapping. But I am a beast at this game so if you find me on here, definitely challenge me and I will whoop your butt in it. But again, it's called Song Pop. And I think it's a great game if in anybody out there who really loves music, you'll really like this game. All right, the next app is called Nuzzle. And what Nuzzle does is allow you to log in with your Twitter account and you'll basically be able to get all the different news stories that people are posting on your Twitter feed in a very simple, organized way that you can simply browse through and tap on it and you can view all these different news stories um, in a format that shows the picture, shows the title, shows the website that this article is from and gives you the meat of the article itself. You can also view feeds from your friends that are on Nuzzle so you can get a bunch of information from other different sources besides your own Twitter feed. And so overall, I think this is a very quick and easy way to be able to view news content on a screen like the one on the Apple Watch. And it's very fast, very simple. I just wanna check news real quick and then go about my day and this app really does help me do that all right this next app is another game and this one is really going to be testing your brain power and it's called rebus zone i think that's how you pronounce it um, this game gives you a couple different kind of puzzles to try to figure out um, this one has the letter t inside of a 10 and go ahead and guess what riddle this is going to be intent did you guess right? Yes, it was intent because the T is inside of the 10. So I like the fact that you actually use the microphone to go ahead and say your answer. Then they'll let you know whether you're right or wrong. And this is a game that is really awesome just to be able to kill time with. And I like the fact that it doesn't have any timer. It's not trying to rush you through or make you compete with other people. The only person you're competing with is yourself. So I think this is a game that a lot of people actually find that they will like. Now, if you use Facebook, you will notice that every day they'll give you some of the memories that have happened on that particular day in a particular year, where there's an app called Memoir that will actually do that same thing plus some. And I like that just to be able to kind of look in the past and see what has happened on this particular day or what I posted on Facebook. But that will also let you see what you posted on Instagram and Twitter and a number of other different sources as well. So this is a good one to kind of reminisce about different memories and different things that has happened. This is the one time that um, the Heat were getting their butt kicked by the Spurs and I was a little upset, but of course, I'm a LeBron fan, so I'm always gonna root for him. And so I really like to relive memories and moments because most of the time I actually forgot that I said something on a particular day or took this picture. So it's always cool just to be able to go back and see those moments in the past. It always gives me a warm and fuzzy feeling inside. Oh, I just feel so, so lovely. Um, but anyway, this is a cool app called Memoir. And so the last app is one that I know I have shown off on my phone in the previous What's On My iPhone video, but this one is called Dark Sky. And this is my go-to weather app because it gives you a whole bunch of information and detailed information, especially when it comes to rain. I like to know exactly when rain is gonna start, not that it's gonna rain today, but I wanna know down to the hour and oftentimes down to the minutes. And this app is pretty accurate. Even if it's just light drizzle, it will actually let you know that light drizzle is about to start and give you some time to take cover or to finish up what you're doing. So Dark Sky is my favorite favorite weather app, whether I'm using it on the phone or on the watch. And the sponsor for this video is one that's gonna make your life totally easier when it comes to copyright. Copyright just sucks. It is a mother, I can't curse, because kids watch, uh, but copyright is just a hassle to deal with. And if you don't wanna have to deal with it, the best way is just to get an image or get something that is copyright free already. And that's where graphic stock comes in. And so graphicstock.com gives you access to over 300,000 different graphics or vectors and images. So they actually have some high quality photos and the website is dead simple to use. So it's really fast to find the image that you're looking for. And again, it's gonna be copyright free. So you don't have to worry about being sued in the future or any other hassle like that. So the best way to try something out like this is to try it out for free. So if you go to graphicstock.com forward slash YouTube. You get a free seven day trial and you can download up to 140 images for absolutely free during that time period. Again, that's graphicstock.com forward slash YouTube and the link will be down below in the description. 
And alrighty then, alrighty then. They need to bring back Ace Ventura. I definitely want to see that again. But anyway, I digress. This is the end of the video. And these are all my favorite apps that I'm currently using right now on my smartwatch. All the links to these apps are down below in my description. And do share and like this video if you want to. Definitely appreciate it. And also make sure you do follow me on all my social networks and subscribe to me here on YouTube if you haven't already. And that link will be at the end of this video. And the last thing, leave a comment down below about some of your favorite apps and I may cover them in a future video. And like always, thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.